That's what it's all about. Drew Brees with his son. Ah. And thank God he's got earphones on right now because we can barely hear each other. Boy, Drew Brees done stepped in it now. And I've been a Drew Brees fan for the longest time. Me and my wife went to New Orleans and all I kept saying was Drew Brees, Drew Brees, because he done so much good work during Katrina in a city that a lot of people think of as a black city. And he has really stepped in it, has really hurt my feelings and disappointed me. And we're gonna break down what he did in this video. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Be sure to turn on the notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Check me and the Black Avengers of Life games live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. And if you're feeling this movement and you wanna keep this movement alive and wear it, check out Shop Life Games for these t-shirts that continue to show the movement. And one of those t-shirts is in direct opposition to what Drew Brees said. And if you haven't heard what he said, take a look at what he said right here. I will never agree with anybody um, disrespecting the flag of the United States of America or our country. Um, let, me, let me just tell you what I see or what I feel when the national anthem is played and when I look at the, the flag of the United States. I envision my two grandfathers who fought for this country during World War II, one in the Army and one in the Marine Corps, both risking their lives to protect our country and to try to make our country and this world a better place. There have been several NFL players, athletes around the world to come out to rebuke what Drew Brees said, including his own new teammate in Malcolm Jenkins. Steven Jackson had something to say, LeBron. Let's take a listen to what they all had to say and then we'll finish this video up. Shout out Michael Thomas, man. Way to hold Drew Brees accountable, Mike. I don't give a damn if he throw you all them touchdowns. Hold his ass accountable. Wrong, bad timing, Drew Brees. Bad timing, bro. All right? You 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 play for New Orleans and you live in New Orleans. All them black people in New Orleans that support you, Drew Brees, you got to be a little bit more sensitive to the timing, bro. You can't just be saying shit out your ass. Yeah, you should understand. But y'all got to hold all y'all white teammates accountable, bro. Fuck all that shit. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we got to end that shit now. Ain't no straddling the fence. All right, Drew Brees, if you don't understand how hurtful, how insensitive your comments are, you are part of the problem. To think that because your grandfathers served in this country and you have a great respect for the flag, that everybody else should have the same ideals and, and, and thoughts that you do is ridiculous. And it shows that you don't know history. Because when our grandfathers fought in, for this country and served, and they came back, they didn't come back to a hero's welcome. They came back and got attacked <clears throat> for wearing their uniforms. They came back to people, to racism, to complete violence. And then here we are in 2020 with the whole country on fire. Everybody witnessing a black man dying at the hand, being murdered at the hands of the police with his just in cold blood for everybody to see. The whole country's on fire. And the first thing that you do is criticize one's peaceful protest. That was years ago when we were trying to signal a, a, a sign for help and signal for our allies and our white brothers and sisters, the people we considered to be friends to get involved, it was ignored. And here we are now with the world on fire and you still continue to first criticize how we, peaceful pro how we peacefully protest because it doesn't fit in what you do and your beliefs without ever acknowledging that a fact that the man was murdered at the hands of police in front of us all, and that it has been continuing for centuries, that the same brothers that you break the huddle down with before every single game, the same guys that you bleed with and go on a battle with every single day, go home to communities that have been <clears throat> decimated. Drew, un uh, unfortunately, Unfortunately, you're somebody who doesn't understand their privilege. 
you don't understand the potential that you have to actually be an advocate for the people that you call brothers. You don't understand the history and why people like me, people with my skin color, whose grandfather fought for this country, who served, and I still protested against that, against the, not against the national anthem, but against what was happening in America and what our, the fabric of this country is for, or stands for. If you don't understand that other people experience something totally different than you, then when you talk about being the brotherhood and all this other bullshit, it's just lip service or it's only on the field. Because when we step off of this field and I take my helmet off and I'm a black man walking around America and I'm telling you I'm dealing with these things, I'm telling you my communities are dealing with these things. And your response to me is, don't talk about that here. This is not the place. Drew, where's the place, Drew? I'm disappointed. I'm hurt because while the world tells you that you're not worthy, that your life doesn't matter, the last place you want to hear from are the guys that you that you go to war with and that you consider to be allies and to be your friends. Even though we're teammates. I can't let this slide. Ladies and gentlemen, Drew Brees has only done what I've always tell my wife and friends white people do so often. When you want to talk about the uncomfortable issue of blacks not being treated equally to them, they want to, let's use a football term, they want to punt. They want to try to buffer their arguments by lacing it in, I love my flag. That's something you're not supposed to argue against. or let's go to the bible that's something you're not supposed to argue against i just ended a friendship with someone who said we should just go by thou shalt not kill in all these instances with police brutality and that's all we need to go by and i'm sitting at him looking at him like what the fuck is wrong with you drew Brees? a lot of people are looking at you like that right now you did so much for new orleans you contributed at a time when things were really, really bad. And one way that a lot of white guys ease their conscience or move the totem pole away from the issue is by giving of your money. That is a way you don't have to talk about these issues. You can say I did good, but deep in your heart, you're just trying to punt the football. Another thing that you did, Drew, you came out and you took a knee. And people was probably saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. But on the inside, Drew, you must have been seething because you drop these statements. You talk about your dad in the military. There were a lot of blacks that went to the military. And when they got home, they did not get equal treatment. You lace it in the flag, Drew Brees. And if you really want this to be about an inanimate object, that you're basically taking over a group of people, then let's just take it for what it is. Okay, you love the flag that represents America. Is that flag not supposed to be representing all Americans? So when you see black Americans continue to get killed, are you just gonna deny those parts of the American flag, which are the black Americans? You basically saying you really like the white Americans perspective Forget what's happening with the black people under the flag. Drew Brees, they say, a blind man is one who's blind to the things he doesn't want to see. And do I think you don't want to see this? No, I think you know full well what's going on, but you want to pun on it, or because of your political beliefs, or because of the people that you know support you, political beliefs, you want to defer to the flag as kind of a safe gray area. Well, Drew, that flag represents all of us. Me personally, I represented you and I will not any longer. Can you come back from this, Drew? It's gonna take a whole lot of mending. But in the same way people have never forgiven Michael Vick because they vilified a black man for dog fighting. Drew, there are going to be black people that are going to vilify you forever for this, no matter what good you do to make a comeback. Now, if you can come back, let people understand exactly 
where your era was on this subject. You know, you did Blackout Tuesday and you put posts up from prominent black leaders and then you come out and do this, Drew, it's gonna be a long ways to come back because right now black people are hurting. White people are hurting because they understand our plight. You didn't have apathy for us, Drew, which is why so many people are coming out and rebuking you. And this is the feeling so many African-Americans have had for years that we were supposed to not feel the way we felt, even though we see our brothers and sisters dying, because if we do anything to enrage Mighty Whitey, it's gonna put us back a peg. And that has all come to a head right now, Drew Brees. And so Drew, this is a video from a former fan. I am very disappointed in you right now. I believe over time you might can overcome this, but it's gonna take a whole lot of attrition it's going to take me seeing you doing a whole lot of things differently and it's going to take me seeing you use your voice and your power, not your money, to stand up for equality. Black people are not asking to get ahead of white people. Black people are just asking to be treated as equal, to have our footing be the same. And I'm going to have to see you stand up for those things, Drew Brees, if you want me and a whole lot of other blacks to come back. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, subscribe, get yourself a life game. Continue to show your support for this movement, ladies and gentlemen, by going to shoplifegames.com, grabbing yourself one of those t-shirts, I Can't Breathe, celebrating George Floyd, or I Take a Knee Because of This, celebrating Kaepernick and what he was trying to do years ago when people was trying to tell him he's the dirtiest devil in America. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.